Hello everyone. So today we're going to try out Age of Wonders 4. So we're going to go to a new game Choose here. Your destination. So you have these preset realms you can do. I'm going to do a custom one. So what do I do? So we'll look at this quickly. It's on the coast. It's one big land piece. Lots of magical creatures and lot uh, ancient winters are common and then no free cities I'm not a fan of the free cities we'll go to oh did I unlock brutal I'm gonna go for hard Your journey and then starts. I chose I'll choose a custom race human hunters We'll focus on just the nature tomes. And we start off with fast recuperation, great for just constantly fighting. And then we get experience bonus. It will be feudal, so we'll get stand together. You get a 20% damage bonus when you're standing beside one of your other units. So I mean, that's pretty amazing. In Fabled Hunters, we get 100% resources from clearing infestations or wonders so I think that's a pretty good start there's our champion so we'll just jump into the game I have the a combat animation set to normal because otherwise it's really hard to follow okay so we're Parsifal Weaver and oh I guess I'll go for healing roots. Oh no, we get both of those. Now the the vine prison, so it randomly su summons five living vines, and then oh they live for two tur three turns, but they'll immobilize enemies. But also the enemies will go out of the way to go and attack these things, so it, it definitely distracts them. So we'll go for that. There's some ice spiders or something. Uh, not the best start for farms. Because if you have rivers nearby, there's a tree. And you get a bonus to food. But we'll just continue with this. So I'm going to go for a workshop. If I get a farm, it'll boost how fast I can build that. But a workshop will give me production and draft income. The draft income is for recruiting soldiers. And I'll just get, like, like an archer. And uh, we'll have uh, another population in three turns. And then we can choose another province. Okay, for the scout, I'm just going to automate it. And then we'll just do our first battle right here. It should be safe. I'll do a manual combat. After this, I'll just do auto combat for the easy ones. So are, these are the toughest guys. So I like to move the archers out first. Because if they're standing beside each other, they get a bonus. Oh, did I start off with some... This is a scout unit, oh, which is weak and best kept out of battle. Because my it's scout was fight. nearby, high speed. it joined the battle as well. Oh, it has arrows, so I'll just kind of keep it back there, and then we'll just fortify. So when you go into defense mode for these guys, you extend the zone of control to all adjacent hexes. Yeah, they're kind of just moving up slow. So I'll bring my hero in here. So these... 
these swords mean if you attack them or try to move, if I was standing here, they're going to get... Uh, I forget what it's called, but they're going to be able to attack me. So I'll bring up my spearmen as well. And so they have stand together. My hero doesn't get it, but you can get this spell eventually that'll give it to non-feudal units. But we'll start off by taking it with this guy. It should be easier. He's going to retaliate. We'll hit him again. And then we'll bring in our archers. They both have stand together. So they do a lot more damage. It doesn't stack, it's just, but that 20% is pretty awesome. Okay, so he'll take that guy out. Oh, I missed. So with the Bannerman, I can give everyone defense around me by one square, or I can heal all around me by one square. I'm just going to take this guy out, though. And yeah, I'm okay with bringing him closer, and I think we'll just go for this guy. Oh, they moved? Oh, the gremlins. I'm not going to do any spells. Oh, it was an area of effect attack. Wow. Okay, I'll take those guys out. So I guess I... So my hero can't do anything. get to retaliate and it's much stronger. So I could go here and try to heal him. I think I'll cast a, a heal and root spell. You just right click on the guy you want. So I'll heal those guys. And we'll attack the spider. So I should be safe. Yeah, so the animations are kind of slow. But if I put it on fast, it's hard for me to know what's going on, so... It wouldn't be that good to watch, I don't think. So, we got beat up. Every rank you get, like the first two ranks, you get plus five health. And then you get, I'm not sure what else it should say here. So, okay, plus four for soldier, plus four for veteran. Or you just keep getting plus four health. So that's cool. So we'll close that. Did we get anything? I don't think so. So I'm just going to bring them back. Could you heal faster? Or I can't. There we go. You heal faster when you're in your borders. And probably faster when you're in town. I don't know. In case we got some research. That's awesome. Got some bad guys there. So when we see borders that are red, those are the, uh, the pests or whatever. Or the in infestations and they'll send out bad guys to attack us but these ones they're that are black and white they're just stationary okay so next turn we'll get something there we're pretty much healed up so we'll go and attack him next turn
What's this do? Oh, it's just like a, a unit? And some of these things, as they level, they'll actually evolve and get stronger. This is kind of... The melee strike is good. Kind of weak here. I'll just send him back home to guard things. Okay, so next turn, we can get another province. I'll go for a farm, probably. Uh, did we recruit a soldier? Oh, maybe I didn't do that. So I'm just gonna attack this guy. It's really safe. So I'm just gonna auto combat. And if you don't like it, you can retry. It's like really negative. If you don't really like how it turned out, you can just retry it and... So we got... Eventually there's a spell where we'll get stand together for non-feudal units. So I'm not going to get this for my hero. Because I think I can get that through the, that, uh, the enchantment later on. A nature enchantment. So... Experienced leader could give my troops to experience each turn. But I think the resistance is really good because we want that status resistant. We don't want to be frozen or anything. So I think I'll go with that first. Yeah, and we're not that damaged. So I think we'll... We'll go right here and see what this is. That's four. Gold stash. So actually, I can keep this guy around. Since there's three guys here I want to get. And because he's nearby, he'll join our battles. Okay, so we got, this is the Empire Development screen, and so because of our our choices, I guess we can do Order, Nature, and everyone gets the general one. I'm going to avoid this, but I'm going to go for like Farms Grant plus 5 food, and you need to regenerate an additional 15 hit points per turn in a friendly domain. Like, that's that's really great. And I think there's some stuff down here. Yeah, I, I didn't really think this... The early ones are not that great. But a lot of these early ones are pretty good. You get one for roads as well, I think. Is that here? Oh, this is right there, road building. I haven't really tried this yet, but you turn it on, and every time it moves, it moves, it costs three gold, but you get a road. I want to test that out. Okay, so we can annex our first province, and so for here, there's a gold vein. So there's no extra bonus, like a river or a pasture. Here there should be. Okay, so this will definitely be a farm. So I'll get that sheep pasture down there. And then because we got the farm, the workshop is now boosted. So it just builds faster. Okay, so our scout and this guy... You can see how the flags bounce up and down above their head. 
So all three will help out with this battle. Okay, they're wavering before us. So we can just allow them to retreat and we get we get a negative if we attack. Negative alignment or a good alignment if we let them go. They may as well demand a portion of their primary power. And so only this guy can help if we attack this, this guy. I'm just going to auto combat it. We should easily, we have a lesser tide spirit helping us out. We should be easily do this without any death. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do a retry to destroy you guys. Oh, do we have to fight it? Okay. I didn't really care about this guy. Okay, so you click up here and you can toggle toggle auto combat. And, it, and the AI seems to be really good. Like, probably better than me. That's a nice sound. I mean, it looks like I'm going to do really well this time. Okay, I can see why these guys might die easily. Can you... Oh, so we can even speed it up. That stand together bonus is really great. So they'll take it with those guys. Hopefully the AI cast a spell to heal them. My banner lords can also heal that guy. Oh, so that's how they die. I didn't really like that unit anyways. So our banner lords bolstered our defenses. And then... We'll take that guy out. See, that's why, like, even, like, the auto battles... It, it seems like that's, like, they've done an, an amazing job on that. So we got 122 construction. That's awesome. So we just click over here, and the next thing... Is my library boosted? No, I need a forester. So I'll get a population in two turns. Yeah, on this start, it's much slower. Uh, I think I'll go for the storehouse first. And then we'll do the library. Yeah, I didn't like the the free cities because like one of them will start really close to you and it's going to be your ally. It's like so easy. But then you have to deal with all these diplomatic messages and I didn't really care for it. Oh, so that's an iron deposit because there's going to be a lot of diplomacy in this game. Okay, we'll try safe, try auto combat again. Which is fine. And, oh yeah, so I'll take 
because I chose a feudal society, it ca you can have five different lords, only one per each title. But for my main hero, I'll take Lord of War, plus five hit points, 25% move points. So I think that's a good one to go for. And then we can recruit another... Did I lose my pikeman? Yeah, so I'll get another pikeman. We, we researched Vine Prison. Uh, so the Enchanted Crow, this is an enchantment that will affect all of our scout units. Like if we took, if we, if we researched that and then cast the spell, all of our archers would have, all of our ranged units would get this benefit. I think let's go for Enchanted Crow first. Okay, so there's a crypt there. If it was bronze, we could, it would be really tough for us. So silver, it's gonna be a while before we go there. New empire development skill. I'll definitely go for the farms grant plus five food. 75 Imperium. So I'll just go ahead and pick up this. Oh, a helmet. So we'll take that and oh perfect so we get one extra defense now and we'll just head back oh it's so like the frog people or the toad people so i'm just going to be neutral So that's a... Okay, so there's an infestation. So as from what I understand, if you let if you leave them be, they'll grow stronger. But that's a great distance between... Let's gotta zoom in, I guess. There we go. Okay, so what do I want? I think I wanted a uh, forester. Yeah. So, oh, there's soil tenders. I don't see them there. Oh, that's when you get, okay, oh, same thing, plus five soil tenders. Not sure what that is. over here it would probably just be was it like a bonus that they all get okay but anyways there's nothing here so i'll probably do the forester right there oh and there's a tree world tree Yeah, I definitely need a pikeman. So I think we'll just kind of head up over here and we'll we'll deal with that guy. This is your spell list. Okay, so we'll cast various spells. We'll cast that spell. And we've re researched that. We'll select a new research. Uh, the Entwined Thrall might be useful. So they have a good melee strike and an even better Poison Needle. It's a range of four. So I might just... I'll go for that right now. So we produce the library. 
and so that will take six turns. This is boosted. We've we've got a ton of gold. And we'll get another province in two turns. What do I get for that? That's 15 production is pretty good. And I'll probably go for a farm next turn. Okay, so we'll just head... What's this? It's a gold vein. We'll just go and take this guy out. Yeah, and please like and subscribe. Really helps the algorithm if you like or comment. Oh, I'm trespassing. Ooh, I wonder why he did that. Okay, will I allow them to summon their portal to Abadoth and leave these lands? Oh, I can bind them. Oh, so I could, uh, I lose 105 mana, but I get another unit. It might be really useful. I'll see what their abilities are. Okay, they're quite weak, but I'll just have him kind of follow me. Uh -huh. Ooh, got some, con some construction points. There's an underground ground up passage. There's something down here. So I think I'll head this way. Uh -huh. Oh good, got or construction. We'll take out those spiders. So a friendship was declared. Yeah, I'm not gonna, it cost 100 gold to de also declare one. Okay, we can cast Enchanted Crow. It'll upgrade all of our scout units. The upkeep is two mana. And we'll just have him wait there. You have just gained or caused a grievance against another ruler. These are used to justify wars. You could I... also forgive them to improve your relations. Oh, my claimed province has been captured. I haven't met them. So, because it's been captured, it gives me an excuse for war, so I can sell those, those grievances for money. So, she doesn't care for us. Like, they're like a demonic cat. So just uh, kind of be neutral. So where are those guys? Oh, they're right there. Yeah, I don't know if I'll actually win this game, but I'm just gonna try it out and see how far we can get. I really like the extra regenerative power. A Whispering Stone gives like plus two stability each turn. If on your used on your own cities, or it improves relations if you give it to a to a another city, another nation. Yeah, I'm just gonna 
go for this now. Huh? Yeah, we'll just auto this. No one died. Yeah, why is my why is the AI trespassing? So I think I should come down here and deal with the infestation and then maybe attack them. I'll come around this way. Just want to see what's right there. Oh, an impot of course it's impossible. It's one guy. Harbingers, Harbingers of Misfortune. So we've seen an army of corrupt souls roaming our lands. Someone has to deal with them quickly and we'll get race, city stability, and mystery bonus okay so I'll dispatch with them I think I'll summon that so the signet of knighthood so yeah so non feudal units will get to stand together so hopefully it will apply to my champion I don't know if my champ doesn't really say here because the champion has the option to get that so I'll just research that okay so these are the quest guys yeah, so this is the these are the guys I've got to take out. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, what do I want to get? I wanted to get a forest, I think. Or I mean a farm. Oh, the Town Hall 2 is only three turns, so I'll go for that. And I'll probably want a granary. So I think I need another Forester. What exactly? Just a regular quarry there. We'll just take that. I thought I clicked that. Yeah, this is pretty good. So I'll summon that. Oh, I'm casting that now. So we'll definitely need a quarry for things. A gold is fine. Uh, this would be good too for research. If I build a conduit, that's also a requirement to boost uh, some things. I think I'll go for the conduit first. 
Because I actually need a lot of mana to... Oh, they're underground. So let them just keep exploring. Okay, so that's how you go up and down. Okay, so we'll put the thrall with our gremlins. Oh, they declared war? So they consider me an enemy. You can settle grievances there. So I have a justification. So, I mean, they're... Okay, they're saying I'm a rivalry, so they're basically like getting ready for for war. And if you declare a rivalry, I think there's less negative effects with war. So we'll actually do this manually. Okay, after a tense surge and long march, your army comes face to face with the Roman corrupt souls. So we're just going to uh, we'll get discouraged attack attackers minus ten morale. I think we'll be fine. So we'll do manual combat. a lot of troops but these guys have 90 hit points so I guess that's probably the best area I think that's a pretty good setup. Oh, nice. And these have a ranged attack. I think they, oh, they both do. It shows the sword and the arrow. So this might be pretty good. It seems like the audio is really loud. Oh, I've got to uh, just put everyone in defense mode. Okay, what do these guys even do? So I'll come up here. And we'll focus on maybe this guy first. Okay, so these guys lower morale. That's not good. <laughs> if you get low morale, they could route and just take off. Hit them. So this will 
bolster the resistance and defense. I'm more worried about the morale attack. So we'll put on auto now. Okay, so they, these guys can reach. Okay, we'll just speed it up now. I think we'll be okay. Okay, so that was pretty good. Okay, so here's the reward. We, we get 20 C, C stability for six turns. So this will give us extra draft. I guess I'll just go for uh, the production. The, I mean, the Imperium is good too. So at level five, we can get some really cool spells or abilities. I'm gonna go for fight in. So we'll get plus 10% damage. Just confirm that. Oh, Reign of the Vicious Killer. This unit inflicts double morale penalties when killing an enemy. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, a bronze one. So I probably want some tier two units before I try this. But that'll be interesting to get. Your cities are vulnerable. Be sure to maintain your Yeah, I guess it's getting pretty risky now. Oh, but I can get a defender. So he has a much better defense. Yeah, like four more defense, same resistance. So I think I'll just go for uh Two of those. Now I can spend 45 Imperium and get a population right now as well. It might be good to get Archer Battlements. It gives my town extra defense. I think my stability needs to be uh, 80 before I get extra benefits. You get benefits to, like, uh, food and things. So, plus two vision range if we get the wizard tower and extra Imperium income. So I'll definitely go for that next. And for gold, we're fine.
Well, that's the foundations. Maybe I'll go for the wizard tower next. And we'll attract some population. So let's go and finish these guys off. It should be safe. Okay, no one died. Oh, a chest plate. Plus two defense, plus 10 hit points. Lots of food. That's awesome. So I guess I'll just head over here. and come up here. Oh, they're going in for an attack. It's just one unit so far. I probably can... Oh, I thought I could build that faster. Okay, so I have two foresters, a farm, two farms, or one farm actually, and a conduit. Oh, haste berries would be, oh, that'd be great for recruitment. And then we get some research as well. We just have to, oh, take out those guys. Oh yeah, this monster den looks real tough. Oh, I guess that's the issue, is uh, trespassing. Okay, please do not attack me. I guess I'm okay. Humble Origins. McKean, your saga needs to include who you were before becoming a god dear. I peacefully raised a family when the wizard kings invaded. So I'd gain a bannerman. Be great for defense. I kind of think it'd be good to have a bannerman. Okay, so we have a bannerman there now. Uh, signet of knighthood. You have acquired enough arcane scales to choose a new tome to add to your research library. So I'm just gonna go for. So I'll go to uh, nature affinity. I can do tome of beasts next. So mark someone as prey. You can change your race. To be more animal like and you get plus ten percent damage. But uh the wild speaker might be a decent summon. So I'm just gonna go like all nature. It is the beasts that shall inherit the world. Their paws will tread on our graves long after their so I guess, do I... our bones to dust. Call upon their might if you dare. 
Go for the wild speaker. We'll go and take out this guy. And then we'll have them just guard. So we just cast that spell. I guess it didn't click that. Oh, that's another one. I think we're gonna need uh, some quarries though. Get a quarry there, get that iron. So I could potentially hire these people. Uh, the melee isn't that. It's a tier one veteran. I'll hire them anyways. So we'll just join them up. The haste bear is we can recruit people faster. That's great. Oh, I can get another province. I feel like the research would be really great. The growth is getting kind of slow. Oh, we got swamp is minus two. Let's get the farm there. I don't... Those guys are four. So maybe we should take these guys out. Wow, we've got a ton of gold. Yeah, she really doesn't like me. Oh, I'm going to try this road thing. So road building can be enabled in the army panel. Roads are built on hexes along which the army moves. And what about here? So coast and river provinces grant plus two food, which we don't really have much of. Immediately summon a spirit wolf with guardian spirit. So this is like a spell. I mean, it's good for movement, just having this. So I'm going to go and grab that.
Oh, so I guess I can't necessarily give that to my to my leader, my champion. Uh, we'll do a manual combat here. But we'll automate it. Because we've got a lot of guys to move. I don't like those spiders with their, uh, their webs. Okay, so my Bannerman bolstered everyone. with the phantom warriors. Yeah, so it's pretty good. I wish they focused fire more, but... Just one guy to get. Okay, that was great. Oh, nice. Horn of Plenty? All units in the army heal five hit points every world map turn. When the unit's total hit points reach 30% or lower, it grants this unit three strength or three turns. Berserk, steadfast. Wow, and you get a ton of food and like all these resources. Okay, so put the... I put the horn there and then the belt right there. So we're definitely getting our champion geared out. Okay, so these are more like infestation guys. I'm going to head down here now, pick up that tier two soldier, and then we'll go and try to. Uh, take on our neighbor. Yeah, so I guess I don't get that uh, stand together. Stand together is really powerful. Uh, what level am I? I don't even see level five. So I should be able to level up this as well. So I'm, I'm going to go and get the stand together ability and then now we're level five we can unlock like mana unchained assassinate slight chance of instantly killing an injured target i like this summon elemental a tier three unit just gonna make the battle really much easier so summon an animal I mean, this would make more sense because we can get spells that make our animal units stronger. So maybe I'll go for the tier three animal. So skill points plus one.
Okay, we're getting much stronger. We got our wizard tower built, so we, we can see much further out. So we get archer battlements instantly. I feel like I should go for growth, though. Oh, it's... I'm gonna go for city stability. And the blacksmith is for recruiting troops. With the market's probably stability. I need three Forester for that. I think I have two, so that, that would be really great though, the plus 30 food income. So yeah, I'll just go for that. Let's end the turn. Okay, what's going on here? So you see the fiery creations of a pyromancer desolating the forest. The very earth seems to weep as they set the area ablaze, threatening all that grows and blooms. We interfere before the infernal hound and its army. Be so, yeah, I'll definitely have to go after this guy. Oh, we'll, we definitely need more stability. And he's on the way too, so that's good. Go for a uh, maybe I'll go for poison blades. So I'll go for the arrows first. One whisper and stone be good. Yeah, what did I want to do? I just thought of something. Yeah, I'm not gonna be friendly. Oops. Yeah, I was going to do something and totally forget. Oh, wow. Well, I wonder if I can... So I'll get rid of that guy. Hopefully I can still move. I can't. Hopefully they don't attack. I could still beat them, I think. 
But only these two guys can defend. Okay, so that's good. I definitely want to get... Oh, I have three archers here. Yeah, I'd love to get uh, a knight. Okay, this should be safe. I'm just going to auto it. No one died. Oh, what's this? With the fire creature stop, the warden of the forest reveals itself to you. It's a unicorn, just as pristine and majestic as it is described in the many stories of old. The fair creature approaches you with a benevolent glimmer in its eyes. It is clear that it wants to thank you. Oh, so I'm going to get like... I don't know what my horse does. So you can like teleport, the charge strike seems... Pretty good. Oh, it's just just like a unit. So that would give me the ability to phase. Oh, that's a tier three. I don't know. The armor seems pretty low, but very good resistance. I'm going to just ask the unicorn to follow me. Because I want to keep my soldier with my men. I don't want to be phasing, or, like phase jumping around. Ooh, that one almost died. So we'll just... Uh, Leave that there, we'll... Like, for sure, I think I can start going for much more powerful things. Is it the world tree? Oh no, it's the glitter grove that I can probably do. So we'll send that archer there. And then we'll take out this guy. I don't know how difficult it'll be. Oh, it should be very safe. <laughs> Please don't die. Yeah, here's animal kinship. Marks the target race more bestial and connected to animals so here we go tome of beast all friendly animals in calories gain plus two bolster defense and strengthened i don't know if that's going to apply to the unicorn because it's a magical animal yeah it's an animal so So that must just be a scout. I could potentially take that city over. It's not a lot of like rivers or anything, but it's a good spot. Its main city is right there. I 
Yeah, we'll do a declaration of rivalry. Cost 10 gold per turn. So the grievance it gained against the rule will be increased by 40%. However, making trees become impossible. I think it's, you get like bonuses for your victories against them, like maybe like morale bonuses. Okay, that's done. Yeah, maybe I should just declare war. So my war justification is major. So it should be acceptable. Other rulers seems pretty positive. I get more Imperium. Enemy forces are stronger. I think I can bring in a total of three units. So we'll get the estate hall next. Need two quarry for that. We'll get the... Archer battlements. So I already have a defender there. Let's see what I have exactly. So one defender, bannerman. We'll get a wild speaker. And then like an archer or something. They could come up through there, so maybe I'll just kind of go the max distance. Oh, she's all alone? Oh, we caught her off guard. Well, I'm just going to auto that. Okay, so we have captured her. So I can inspect, and if I set her free, or if she died, I can sell her body. Then I can get all of her stuff. It doesn't really seem that great. Like, the steed seems pretty cool. Like, very fast movement. 48 on the world map and combat. That might be uh -huh. worth it. Okay, it's the same. It's just the, the penalty to morale, which is really cool. Okay, we'll end the turn and see what happens. We're going to have to siege this place. The greater good. Your advisors mentioned that Bridgedale announced costly plans to import food. Gain stability. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we'll just go for the stability bonus. So we got a bunch of foresters, I think. Three of them. That should be good. But I'll need another uh, quarry. This could be good for uh, the... There's an herb province you can do, and you get a benefit when you're next to to forests or swamps. Hmm. I think I need another farm as well. I got one, two. I think that was what I needed. That's not very good, though. So, get that farm. Oh, resource shortage. Ooh. How do we get more mana? Well, I can attract more population. And then there's a the mana thing. Oh, they took it. Oh, that's not good. See, there's an herbalist we can get. And the herbalist could go... Right there. You get plus two ma you get five mana and plus two mana per domain with with forest or swamp beside it. So maybe like this would be the best. One, two, three. I don't know if that counts as a swamp. So let me just turn this into an herbalist. to order stuff. Yeah, I'll get that Whisper and Stone and something I was supposed to do. Well, we'll siege them. It's only going to take two turns. And then from here, can add siege project projects so like we can construct onagers i think that's how you say it but it's uh we start off with two siege units and then we could do like harass defenders so they start off even weaker I th yeah, I think three. Didn't I start that? Okay, I think it's doing it. What kind of trade deals can we get?
I need to figure out how to get more mana. I didn't realize it was this long. It's an hour and 20 minutes. Please like the video if you've made it this far. Oh, did it freeze? Okay, that was weird. Not sure what happened. Okay, it's working. So we'll get new research. I think poison blades would be awesome. Hopefully we'll get more mana. We're minus three still. But once that province is switched... Oh, I didn't even notice those guys. Uh, is, it, is it over already? Well, I think there was something where, how do I get to that screen? Where we could summon a wolf. Wow, a tier three unit. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. One turn we get an archer. I definitely need a defender. Yeah, there's just four of them, so I don't know. Uh, we're still at minus four mana. I mean, I've got a Herbalist there. I guess the wolf requires upkeep. Yeah, minus four. Oh, okay. So it's the clergy commons. Gives us plus five mana income. And we've got a tithe shrine that I can do next. So that should really solve all of our mana issues. Okay, so they're at war with each other. That's great. Breach is made in the siege. Okay, so we'll go in and attack these guys. We'll do manual, but I'll do I'll auto it. I want to see those uh, siege engines. And then we'll end the episode here. I might just do like a three-part series for this. Okay, so there's the... There's the animal we summoned, the tier three animal. I guess it's random. There's a catapult. Wow, that's a really... It's a, it's a temporary summon, though. So, do we didn't get any uh, mana. So 
migrate to human hunters, migrates the population of the city to human hunters. Yeah, I definitely want human hunters. I don't want ready munchkin munchkins. That's okay <laughs> with me. And I can bring these guys back here now. Yeah, so I'll end the episode here, guys. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a like, and we'll see you in the next episode.